Hey, it's Michael, and today I've got a Hunter 24 Zone Pro HC Outdoor Wi Fi Irrigation Controller. All right, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be transferring the wiring from my Rainbird ESPLX, and what I'm going to do is transfer the wires over to the HC Pro. And the first thing I'm going to do is unplug it, which I already did, and we always want to make sure our power's off before we start working on the electrical. All right, so I want to make uh, labels for each wire just in case uh, my photo doesn't work out so well. So this, I mean, you can make numbers however you want, but I'm, this is how I'm going to do it. And I'm just going to use a tape measure, line it up to, I have 17 stations, so 1 to 17. And I'm just going to lay out some painter's tape here, and I'm going to give it 1 inch, and I'm just going to mark this. So I got my 17 marks, and now I'm just going to write numbers. Let's make a nice cut on each of my lines, and I'm going to have my 17 numbers to wrap around each wire. All right, so on my Rainbird, I just took out each module, just pressed the little button on the top and the bottom, and it pulls right out. And then I just put my numbers on each wire. And you do the same for the bottom module if you have that many. Uh, all my wires are numbered now, so even though I have a photo, I also have actual numbers on there. So it should be uh, very easy to make this transition. All right, pretty obvious, but in order to remove the wires, you have to push this piece down in order to unclamp the wire. Okay, remove the screws, attaching it to the wall, and now I'm just pulling the wires through the hole at the bottom and removing the panel. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen up all the screws here prior to feeding the wires in. I'm simply transferring the numbered wires that I just numbered over to the corresponding number on the uh, HC Pro. Okay, there's my wall and uh, I'm gonna use that hole to hang this. I won't have to drill uh, any new holes except for the two down at the bottom. And the rain gauge, if I choose to use it, will go right back to where it was originally. Wires will go up right through the hole there on the bottom, and so this should be fairly straightforward. All right, making sure we're level. That's about right. Oh, not actually. There we go. I'm gonna put in the two screws at the bottom now. Okay, drilled uh, two holes, put in the anchors and finishing up the screws. Make sure they're tight. And I'm also reattaching the rain gauge sensor. I may not hook that up right away though, so I'm just gonna let that wire hang down for the time being. All right, now I'm gonna feed all the wires through the hole here and hook them all up to the appropriate numbers. And that is why it's so important to number your wires before you begin this whole process. And plus I'm colorblind, so just doing it by color is not gonna work for me. Okay, I'm making progress here. I have my uh, 13 through 17 zones screwed in. I'm trying to keep everything straight as I can, just more organized. Now I'm gonna do the top row. Got my wires all hooked up. Uh, I've got a couple of strays down here. Some of these were never hooked up in the first place. I think I'm good to go. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this mess here. I'm just probably gonna eventually uh, try to bundle things together and bend the wires a little bit to get them a little more compact. So here we go. I've decided to leave the rain sensor up there for now, but I don't think I'm ever going to be using it because the Pro HC has built-in weather capability where it gathers relevant weather information for your area from local stations. So I think that'll work out pretty well. Uh, I was able to bundle the wires up here to clean it up a little bit, and that's probably the best I'll be able to do under the circumstances. And I'm going to plug it in. Well, I just plugged it in and I guess I didn't blow anything up. So now I'll go through the connection wizard. All right, entering, entering a password on this little screen is almost impossible, and especially if you have fat fingers. So good luck with that. 
but I was finally successful. So I pick OK here. And it says my wireless signal strength is low. This may cause problems with your irrigation, but uh, I am going to ignore that message because I may eventually uh, get an extender out here. So it's downloading firmware and that's going fairly quickly. So I'm assuming the signal is good enough for that. So we've got a firmware update, which has just been downloaded. Now it's probably rebooting. Okay, it just restarted. Uh, I'm going to ignore the message again. And uh, Okay, the warning on my phone that I uh, haven't set up the network has uh, gone away, so I guess it is now sensing the controller. And there it is, my controller. And now I need to run up the setup wizard to add a program. So I guess we're going to do a time-based, and uh, let's see our options here. We can do all days, even days, odd days, or interval, interval watering. So right now I'm just going to select all the days of the week. All right, so we're all connected, and this is just uh, actually going to be doing the programming now, so I'm not going to do that. And uh, if you have any questions about the installation, leave me a comment. I'll try to answer that if I can. But otherwise, uh, it wasn't really that difficult. It just took a little bit of time, and you have to be methodical about making sure your wires are numbered and that you just get them connected to your right zone. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, take care.